competitive. Well, Monkey Day's every year, so there's always a next one, you know. So no matter, no matter when this comes out, Monkey Day is December 14th. Um, my art school roommate, named Casey Sorrow, he still does a lot of cool artwork. Um, he's done, uh, illust he did illustrations for the New York Times and some other stuff like that. Um, great printmaker. Um, we, uh, we did a lot of stuff together in art school. I'll leave it at that. Uh, uh, no, uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of backstory there. Um, but he, uh, yeah. one day, out of nowhere, uh, in like July or August, you, you know, you, you're, you got the calendar when you're in, in college and it's got on there, oh, I got to pay the rent here and I got to pay this bill there and I got to, you know, take my final exams here. And you sort of had this calendar up, hanging up in the kitchen that um, whatever was on the calendar you had to do. Well, so he flips a couple months ahead, gets to December, writes on December 14th, Monkey Day. Then, you know, flips it back. And of course, we have no idea, you know, that he's done this. And eventually you get to December and you open, you know, you flip it from November to December and there's Monkey Day. Well, what are you going to do? So um, you just throw a party because it's Monkey Day, right? You know, I mean, it's a holiday. Right. And so it, it was, you know, at that point it was half a dozen uh, art students at Michigan State and, and their friends. And um, the next year it was something else. And the next year it was something else. And we started putting it in our artwork, started putting, having art shows organized around it. And, and this, again, this is one of those amazing things. And as I was talking to you, I was telling you, this is one of my favorite series. This is one of my favorite series. Yeah. It's always hard to tell what's going to take off, you know. Within about three years, people in Germany are celebrating Monkey Day. People in Canada are celebrating Monkey Day. People in California and, and, and how, how it actually got there, whether they came to one of our art shows, they saw our artwork on our website, a, one of those people that went to the party with us the year before, moved to California, told their friends, who knows? But, but it was international within like three years. So if I understand it correctly, in the beginning, it was really just an absurd, fun... It was thing just, to, just a thing to do, yeah. It, it, it well, has become something that, that is a, about animal rights? It, well, we, we, like, I mean, everything I do is activist and so we were into animal rights and we were you know we love monkeys because they were silly but of course we want monkey habitat to you know be saved and that sort of thing and so it was you know we love Planet of the Apes movies and we love whatever you know and so um, yeah since since then um, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and you know like I said within three years it's in Germany within five years it's just totally out there to the point where uh, every year we'll see a, a, a new or 10 new or whatever zoos around the world that are having some event based on it in India, Pakistan, Estonia, Scotland, wherever. There is no organization that you all created around this? We, well, we sort of, we have an official Monkey Day website and we got an official Monkey Day Facebook, but we, you know, we didn't make a, there's no non-profit. There's no no, non-profit. Um, you know, some nonprofits like Greenpeace, like uh, Jane Goodall's group, uh, other places like that have, have jumped on board. But the, the people that jump on board is just, it, it blows me away, honestly. Of all, of all the things that um, I've had go to another level, they all surprise me. You know, sometimes you do something you, you love and you think everybody's going to love it, and maybe they don't, you know. And sometimes you do something you love and wow, everybody loved it too. And so, like last year, the Rolling Stones were tweeting about it. Hey, it's Monkey Day. Here's our song, Monkey Man. Um, the uh, Late Night with Stephen Colbert is tweeting about it. Hey, happy Monkey Day, everybody. You know, you just... Are you, are you credited as the godfather of Monkey Day? I, yeah, Casey and I tend to get credited as the uh, the inventors and innovators of, of Monkey Day. It was, it was He's the one who wrote it on the calendar, you know, so I'll, I'll give him the... The, definitely the uh, you know came out of his brain First somewhere but, but both of us were like you know are the you know we just spread it everywhere you know um, yeah and so yeah we created our own artwork we invited other artists to make stuff about it um, 
and actually I'll take you out there, but there's a, a giant monkey uh, mural just uh, about a block away from here if you want to take a look oh, at yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, are you, it's related to yours? Oh yeah, it's mine. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, one reason why I picked this location. So you said you wanted to see some artwork in my studio, and I said I'll take you somewhere where I got something like just across the street.